Oh, no, thanks. Mm. There. I've got it all glued together. What do you think? Happy birthday, Aunt Harriet. Looks really good, Ralph. You really like it? Sure I do. It's great. Good. Because I was afraid you might not like it. Uh-oh. Something wrong, Ralph? Um. <clears throat> Help? <laughs> what have you done? Well, it's no joke. Um, how would you like to go around for the rest of your life with your wing arm stuck to your forehead. You're joking. You're not joking. Mm -mm. I'm ruined. Don't worry, Ralph. It'll be okay. Um, I'll just loosen the glue with this. Guess what? It, it isn't, isn't working. working. Oh, what are we gonna oh. do? <laughs> You're supposed to tell me I'm the parrot in distress. No, what we need is a miracle. Uh-huh. No. What we need is a district home economist. A district home economist? What's that? Well, she's not a what. She's a who, and she's a friend of Aunt Harriet's. And she'd be able to help us get your wing unstuck? Sure. She knows lots of stuff, like how to eat better, how to spend your money better, how to live better. She's terrific. Great. I'll go see her right away. What does the hat look like? It's got a lot of buttons on it. Got it. You just try and relax, Ralph, until I get back. Bye. Speaking of back, what if mine gets itchy? <laughs> My beak won't breathe. <laughs> his wing to his forehead? <laughs> and Harry probably told you about Ralph. He does things like that a lot. Well, I'm sure I can think of some way of getting him unstuck. Oh, dear. I have to go to a school and do a puppet show right away. Do you think Ralph would mind waiting a bit? No. He should be all right for a little while. Okay. Excuse me. Why didn't you come with me? I could use your help. Sure. Okay. What does the district home economist do? Exactly. Ralph told me about it, but I don't really get it. Well, I do a lot of different things, that's why. But my main job is helping people. How do you help them? It depends on what people need. Hop in. Just the other day, some people called and asked me if I could help them plan a new room for their house. Their little girl needs her own bedroom now, and their house just isn't big enough. What did you do? We talked about how big the room should be and where the window should go. And then we talked about how much it would cost to build the room. I bet it would cost a lot. Quite a bit. But we discussed some ways they could save money. That's part of my job too. Besides that, people come to the district home economist when they want to find out about new ways of doing things. What kind of thing? Well, microwave cooking, for example. Now remember, when you're using your microwave oven, you can use paper, ceramics or glass, and some approved plastic. But don't ever put any metal in your oven. It's very dangerous. So don't use your pots and pans or knives and forks, tin foil, that sort of thing. Now we have a nutritious snack here, cheese on crackers. Is it all ready? Thank you very much for your help. We have some tomatoes for extra flavor and color. 
pot that in the oven and it'll be done in next to no time. All right, now, who likes baked apples? Good. Remember, when you're cooking apples, you have to split the skin first. Otherwise, you'll have exploded apples in your oven instead of cooked ones. Sometimes district home economists help young people set up 4-H clubs. It gives kids a chance to make friends and learn something new. Children learn how to run their clubs properly so that whatever project they're working on gets done well. And everyone has a good time doing it. And sometimes we judge their work and award prizes. nutrition is. Yep. Is it like good food? That's right, good food. What about chocolate? Chocolate good to eat? Yeah! Guess everybody likes chocolate. But chocolate's what we call an extra food. It doesn't make you go, grow, or glow. Now to tell you a bit more about go, grow, and glow foods, we're going to make a nutritious sandwich. What do we need first to make a sandwich? Yes? Bread? Right. Bread's a go food. Gives you lots of energy. What are we going to put in the sandwich? Yes? Lettuce? Yes. Lettuce is a glow food. Makes you feel happy and look healthy. Anything else? Yes? Could we put meat in the sandwich? Meat? Good. Meat's a grow food. Builds healthy bones and strong teeth. Can we put anything else in? Yes? Tomatoes. Tomatoes, good. That's a glow food. You know, all fruits and vegetables are glow foods. Do we have anything else? Uh-huh. Cheese? Cheese. That's another glow food. There. And now we'll finish it up with another piece of bread, and we've got a perfect, nutritious, go, glow, and grow meal. Now, I've got a couple of friends who are going to tell you a little bit more about Go, Grow and Glow food. So if you'd all like to sit in front of the puppet stage, we'll take it from there. Give you the strength to go all day. You gotta go. 
smile, keep you happy, make you feel good all over. Put a smile on your face. Fruit juice salads, oranges and bananas, and vegetables, all kinds. What a great taste. You gotta go. Problem. People call me all the time to get advice. It's all part of the job. Thanks very much. Thank you for all your help. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's not oh, funny. Wow. <laughs> I've got this phone stuck to my wing. Oh. Here, I'll get it off. You can get it off? Yeah. You're sure? Well, District Home Economy said it would work. Uh, Ready? Uh, oh, oh. I guess I it does my work. Beak. It works real well, not my beak, my beak. Oh. This is going to hurt. Oh. Hold still. Uh, uh, at last, I'm a free <laughs> parrot. Now what oh. I better do is finish that birthday card for Aunt Harriet. And I'd better assess the damages. Oh, what took you so long? Oh, well, the district home economist let me do a puppet show with her. And she told me all about her job, how she helps people fix up their houses, and, and uh, how to use microwaves, lots of things. Would you like to be a district home economist? Sure. There we are. What do you think? Let's see. Yes. Do you think that Aunt Harriet will find that?